Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just wanted to share how I've been making my planner covers. So I've been using the classic Happy Planner for this year. And I think that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, and I have been making custom planner covers. So I wanted to share that with you guys. My last video was a haul video and I showed you guys the... Um, stickers that I bought um, during National Sticker Day and then I also share with you guys how I had my planner set up and how I was going to be using my planner. So this is the planner that I am using this year. Of course I will be um, changing off my covers all year round. I love to change up my color, my, my covers, I'm sorry. Um, but this one right here I'm finding it hard to change this one off. Last weekend, last weekend, I was supposed to change this cover off for the month of February. We are now in February and this cover is still on my planner. I love this black and gold. I love animal print. Um, this is that pen holder that I shared with you in the haul video. I've been loving the way this look on here. Even though it's black and silver, I still love it on this black and gold. Um, I love these black and gold metal discs. And so I've been finding it hard to switch. However, today I felt like you know creating so today I started working on a new planner cover so I'm gonna share that with y'all today so I'm gonna put this to the side and show y'all how while I was filming I was trying to show off my tumbler I have a 20 ounce tumbler that I made when I was in nursing school I was trying to show that off. Of course, I deleted that clip because why? Anyways, I'm trying to show this off. This tumbler is full of green tea. I got it all in camera showing you guys. And look what happened. I don't know if you can tell, but the side of this is soaked. I'm still using it. I did print this cover off on 120 pound cardstock so that's why it didn't mess up too much but it'll be perfectly fine once it dries so I'm, I'm gonna keep it moving as you can see yeah my desk got wet I had to you know clean that up and <laughs> refilm this clip for y'all so anyways this is the cover I think this cover is so cute I made it custom with my name on it and my credentials um, I may use this as my planner cover and I may use it as my notebook at work, the cover for my notebook. So I do use the Happy Planner notebooks um, and they are like a classic size as well. So this will fit my notebook. So I have one like this at work with a different cover on it. And so... I can decide whether I want to use this for my current planner which was the original idea and then I thought about it since I put the, the image of the nurse on there I love this image she has a little braids um, this might be for my work notebook so that's what I might be doing and the great thing about happy planner is so versatile you can always swap off change off the classic happy planner um, is the same size as the notebooks, so you can always change up the covers. So that's why I love it. I'm going to move this out the way and attempt to show you guys that uh, tumbler that I made when I was in nursing school, because I love it. And since I am still like learning and probably in the field of nursing, I'm going to be learning forever. But I am a new graduate nurse, so. Yeah, I'm really a nurse still in progress. So I made this for, and I don't want to tilt it too much because it's full. But I made this, it says nurse in progress. It says loading, please wait on this side. And on this side, it has the nurse holding her coffee. And it's it's the, the dark skin nurse holding her coffee. I bought that image off of... Uh, Etsy 
Y'all know I love Etsy. I'm not an artist who can draw, but I can definitely support artists who are selling their images. And yeah, so, and I also always make sure I try to look for uh, Etsy storefronts that um, do not mind their images being used for commercial use and when you go on Etsy to purchase these images you will definitely see all the um, rules as far as that um, but I do that just in case because sometimes I might make a cute planner cover and somebody might like it and they don't want to make it themselves they might want me to pay me to make it so you never know so anyways back back on the subject so this right here is the cover so I purchased a set of these clip art nurse dolls and they they have the set came with like nurses um, with different color uniforms, different hairstyles, um, and I love this blue. Even though my uniform at work is black, I didn't. None of the dolls that was in that set had a black um, uniform, so I went with this blue, and I uploaded the image onto Canva and I just put in my dimensions I searched for backgrounds and I searched for uh, inspirational quotes and uh, that's how I was able to put this cover together on Canva I think it came out so cute I love the colors and I also made it front and back um, yeah it's a lot of ink but I don't I really don't care because I love it I also made this this cover that's plain just for the back of the planner cover I made a little template um, that just has the dimension seven and a half by nine and a half for the classic um, happy planner cover and um, that is just so if I purchase a cover that's already designed on Etsy and all I need to do is print it out sometimes it doesn't have the cut marks and so I use this to line it up over the image like it needs to be for the front of my cover so I like to have this handy also I use 10 mil laminating pouches when I'm making my planner covers because um, everybody who uses Happy Planner knows that their covers are really thick and durable um, and I don't know um, if you try to do a DIY cover if you don't use 10 mil laminating pouches it'll be kind of flimsy and a lot of times when you punch it you'll get bubbles and um, your cover won't be tight. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but <laughs> are y'all understanding what I'm trying to say about that? But that is the reason why I use the 10 mil laminating pouches. And I'll show you. These are the ones that I use. And these are the professional grade crystal clear laminating pouches. And um, these are perfect for DIY planner covers if you really want them thick and you um, want them durable. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this um, pack of laminating pouches but I did order them from Amazon. So I got these off of Amazon and then I got the Power Lamy and it's a laminator that can laminate up to 10 mil. Um, and that's what you'll have to have because a regular laminating machine will not um, feed the 10 mil laminating pouches. So just if you guys are interested, you do have to have a higher quality uh, laminating machine that will, you know, um, be able to feed the 10 mil um laminating pouches so I just wanted to show y'all this is what I use uh, um, I use this um, we are memory uh, keepers crocodile corner trumper to um, round my corners and I usually use the quarter inch rounder um, when I'm doing that so I will print this out and if I want the the 
cover to have rounded corners I'll go ahead and round it and then laminate it and then after it's laminated I'll round those corners as well so I use the quarter inch side on the chomper to round my corners I also use this um, guillotine paper cutter and this is swing line and you can find these I got this one from um, Hobby Lobby a, a long time ago but Walmart even has these you could probably find them at any um, any store like a Walmart Target maybe um, any of your office supply stores I'm sure you can find this at but I love this because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while y'all know that I am a card maker um, a crafty chick I love making um, my own uh, photo albums and mini albums and things like that but I took a long long pause from crafting because I had to because I was in nursing school so now that I'm done with nursing school well mostly done with nursing school um, I have time now to craft and do some of the stuff that I love again and so you will be seeing more videos from me from now on. Um, I plan to give myself a good six months to a year before I get back into school for the next phase in my career. So I did get accepted into a new program however I decided not to start that program um, and just to give myself a little bit of time to learn my new role in nursing and um, just get comfortable with it and then I will go back to school definitely but yeah so this is what I use and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this out laminate it and then i will share the finished product i really hate it. i wasted the water or the tea on there because you can see the watermark but because of the background i feel like it's not too bad and uh it's like that on both sides so on both corners I should say so it's not too bad I'm trying to show off my crafts um yeah so <laughs> anyways I am going to pause the video and then I'll be right back to share with you how it came out the reason why I'm not doing it right here um and filming it is because I'm, a, I'm working on a smaller surface area I'm at my desk in my room because my craft room still has a lot of work to be done in there and until that's done I'm just haven't wanted to go in there so I am going to laminate this off camera and I can also show you guys the punch that I'm using I am using this punch and this is the art punch it looks like this and um, I love this punch because you can change this punch so like for happy planner you have to have the big happy planner punch and the classic happy planner punch um, if you want to do big happy planner covers well this arc you can do the big happy planner and then this lever right here you can move that up to punch for smaller planner cover sizes so I love this the other thing I love about the arc punch is I don't have a problem punching through this 10 mil laminating pouch when I use this my happy planner punch will not punch through that so I'm hoping that maybe happy planner can realize that you really can't punch much with the happy planner punch um and you know everybody's getting super crafty out here and we like to add different different things different paper types different textures into our um, planners and it would be really nice if the happy planner punches would be able to punch through a little thicker material because the only reason why I went out and paid more money for the art punch is because I was making my covers and 
I was messing my covers up because the Happy Planner punch just was not punching through, which, you know, upset me. But I had to go get the art punch and it works really nicely. So anyway, let me stop talking. I'm going to go off camera for a second and I'll be right back to show you all the finish um, cover. All right, y'all. So I did make a couple mistakes making this cover, but I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it anyway because it's very usable. I actually should have laminated it uh, without so much extra laminating pouch on this side to bring the cover in a little bit more like that because you can kind of see more of the pages underneath. However, I'm okay with that. I love it what y'all think so uh, another mistake i made let me take this off and see if y'all can see it i don't know if you can see it but i didn't make sure my arc punch was set to the right um setting for the classic happy planner so i ended up having to punch it twice and you can see all of the little tab marks still usable so that is the two mistakes I made with making this cover but as y'all can see it's still very cute still functional very sturdy I'm telling y'all no bubbles I love it it actually kind of matches my cup so I don't know let me see if it let me see if it'll fit let's see it may not fit this but we gonna see here And, it's, and it does. So I can I could definitely use it for... But like I said, the next time around, when I make another one, I have to keep in mind not to leave so much of the, the, the clear part of the pouch showing. I left an eighth of an inch. I left an eighth of an inch and it really does not require that much. I would rather have more on this side than on this side so that the side of my papers won't show as much. And even with the Happy Planner cover, when you put that on there, you can see a little bit of the edge of your papers through there. I don't know if y'all can see that. You can. So I, I don't feel bad about it at all. So... I don't know if you see I left so much extra on this side um, with this planner cover that would be you know my mistake with this but it's still functional I can still use it still pop it right on and uh, interchangeable here's the back love it so this one is either going to be, well, I, you know what? I'm going to use it for my planner cover and my notebook cover. Whenever I feel like switching out my planner cover, I will switch this one to my notebook cover because I am a nurse now. I'm sorry, y'all. I work so hard in nursing school. I can't stop saying that. I'm a nurse now. I'm still learning how to be a nurse and I'm still learning that critical thinking gonna take me a while but I'm so excited about it um so far I'm in orientation I'm you know loving it I get a little anxiety and a little stress you know but with all that being said I'm happy where I am and uh I'm loving this planner cover so guys I hope you like this video um hopefully soon I can share the full process from A to Z as far as making a cover um but it's pretty self-explanatory if you just have the tools you can make your own planner covers and that is the good thing about the happy planners I love happy planner ever since happy planner came about I haven't used any other planner I love the disbound planners um, but happy planner is actually I believe the only one that I have used except I think I had a tool um, home organizing planner before but I really didn't use it much 
Um, so yeah, I'm in love with this and I am starting to learn more about Canva and working around in Canva. Now that I have the time, I can play around and yeah, I think I'm even going to make some planner accessories, some page markers to match. Um, I think I will. So Again, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications. Feel free to comment below if you like this cover, if you will try making covers for your planner um, or what planner accessories do you like to make. I also like to make my... Um, paper clip um accessories and bows and things like that i haven't got a chance to do that in a long time but i'm thinking i'm gonna pull out some of my supplies and make some more of those type of bookmarks as well for my planner so again i'm gonna go ahead and end the video as y'all can see i'm so excited about how this one came out and um i am gonna talk to y'all in my next video bye